What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Boy John 25, and tonight I'm going to do my WWE SmackDown review on highlights. You guys can hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and let's get started. Now, the first hour of SmackDown was good, but the rest of the show was decent. Alright, in ring segment, Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman. I enjoyed this segment. That's the only segment I enjoyed. So, alright. Roman Reigns says it, he makes everyone relevant. Just look, just look at his cousin, Jay Uso. Main event, main event, Uso has defeated Daniel Bryan and so many others. Uso is going to lead Reigns. Team, team to victory at Survivor Series. Reigns is going to go on to be WWE Secondary Champion Randy Orton later that, later that same night. Orton is a classic, is a cla classic case of you can't respect a, that you can't respect a, a man's accomplishment, even if you don't respect the man. Drew McIntyre music hits. Reigns is Ra Roman Reigns is visible confused. McIntyre shouts his his way down to the ring. McIntyre tells Reigns he isn't going to face it, going to be facing Orton at Survivor Series. McIntyre is going to beat Orton on Raw. Will, on Raw, Reigns will be facing him at Survivor Series. So I'm I'm just gonna say this right now. If we don't get Drew McIntyre versus Roman Reigns, I'm gonna be very disappointed. And I can see Roman I can see um Drew McIntyre beating Randy Orton at Survivor Series. I already know. That's all I gotta say. But anyway, but let me continue. McIntyre knows it has been a while since they have seen seen each other. Last day were in the ring. McIntyre was eliminated Reigns to win the World Rumble. Heyman says says no what happened after that McIntyre made Heyman climb his you know what and he won the WWE championship in five minutes McIntyre carried the ball while Reigns was in the in the win McIntyre says he is the man now and he will prove at Survivor Series begin to tell McIntyre that he likes him but McIntyre doesn't matter no one watches no one watches Raw because they are too busy watching Smackdown that's facts by itself. Reigns wants McIntyre to tell everyone who he is. McIntyre says he is the guy who is going to be Orton, and he is the guy who is going to show Reigns that he he's the secondary champion. Uso runs down to the ring and gets in McIntyre's face. Uso tells McIntyre that he's going that he's being disrespectful, just like Daniel Bryan. Uso says. They run this. Uso is going to get McIntyre too. Uso challenges McIntyre to a match tonight. Reigns looks annoyed by Uso's presence. Uh, McIntyre pushes Uso and gets in Reigns' face. Reigns walks away. Okay, that that segment itself was fantastic. All right, we get backstage. Backstage, Roman Reigns, Rom, Roman 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 Reigns. Um, braids, um, braids, um, it says braids, um, Uso for thinking he needs to handle Reigns' business. Uso doesn't make the matches. Reigns makes the matches. Uso apologizes and he says he's going to handle it. In ring segment, Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn complains that WWE management gave him an hour notice that he is defending his title against a former United States champion, Apollo Crews. Sane says he is being set up to fail and no one has ever had to put up with this type of crap. Sane is going to show everyone that his Intercontinental title is more important than the U.S. title or anyone who has even held it. Apollo Crews into us and walks to the ring. So we get an Intercontinental Championship match. Sami Zayn versus Apollo Crews. This match was fantastic. This match was great. But this match needs to go in 13 minutes. I wish this match was in 13 minutes. But it gave us this match in, in 3 minutes. This match was quick. But it was good at the same time. Um, Apollo Crews tosses Sami Zayn around the ring. Apollo Crews press slams Sami, Sami Zayn and drops him face first on a top turnbuckle. Crews counters um, Zayn suplex into one of his own. Crews gets a near fall after a standing moonsault. Zayn rolls out of the ring to avoid Cruz. I'll slide. Sami Zayn rips the apron off the off the ring off the ring. Cruz tries to retrieve 
retreats Zane, but Zane trips him into the metal framing off framing off the ring. Sammy traps Cruz leg in the metal and rolls back into the ring. Cruz is counted out. The winner and your and still the Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. Backstage, Adam Pierce tells McIntyre that he can't sack, snatch in a match between McIntyre and, and Uso. Pierce says McIntyre can't have any any annexation fight if he wants it. McIntyre quickly agrees. Backstage, Ray Mysterio, and he, Ray Mysterio is with his family. Mysterio says he is going to Send Sephiroth to the soul. Question, hell, he belongs. This ends tonight. And I'm sitting there watching this. And I'm sitting there watching that segment too. Alright, let's move on. So we get in-ring segment. Sasha Banks. Um, Sasha Banks says that haters, th that haters thought she could win it, but never retain it. It feels good standing in the ring as the SmackDown Women's Champion. Banks puts the rest of the locker room on notice. Banks tries to address Carmella, but Bailey walks out on the stage. Bailey, before Bailey gets to the ring, Carmella appears behind Sasha Banks and super kicks her. Carmella lands the X Factor and leaves. All right, so we get backstage. Otis is eating three plates of food. Waburu and Dolph Ziggler walk in and makes fun of Otis. Otis flips the table over. Okay, so we get Otis versus Dolph Ziggler. I did not even care about this match. We've seen this few months ago. So why are we seeing this match again? This match itself, I did not really care about because I fell asleep while doing this match. So, so it says Ziggler slaps Otis. Otis forces Ziggler into the corner before tossing Ziggler clear across the ring. Otis pounds on Ziggler in the corner. Otis crushes Ziggler in the corner. Otis looks to be setting up the caterpillar. Rude distracts Otis long enough for Ziggler to land the zigzag. Otis kicks out. Otis surprises Ziggler with a body slam. Caterpillar by Otis. Otis goes up top for a Vader bomb. Rude gets on the apron but is scared into turning around by Otis looking at him like he was going to eat him. Otis, Otis crushes Ziggler with the Vader bomb for the win. The winner of the match, Otis. There you go. This match I ain't really... The, the match and stuff I ain't really care about. Backstage, Chad Gable tells Otis that he that he need to embrace his inner alpha. Gable hands Otis a pamp pamp help for Gable's Alpha Academy. Otis says stuff he's gonna he, st stuff he stuff he's gonna stuff he's into it. Now, TM, I agree with you one thousand percent. I gotta give you credit where credit's due, but. But I'm just gonna say this: Chad Gable and Otis are not a tag team. I'm just gonna say, screw it. I I'm not gonna get behind this. The Ot the Otis and Chad Gable are not a are not a tag team at all. That's all I gotta say. All right, so we get no holds bar match. No holds bar no holds bar match. Seth Rollins versus Rey Mysterio. This match was fantastic. This was very good. I, I hope I hope we don't see this feud between Rey Mysterio and Seth Rollins, cause this they need to move on. That's all I gotta say. But this match itself was good. Mysterio takes Rollins over. Take Mysterio takes Rollins over with the head scissors. Mysterio rolls through Rollins' sunset flip and hits a and hits a head kick. Rollins stuns Mysterio on top rope. Rollins pulls a chair from under the ring. Rollins misses miss miss the chair shot, and is trapped into the middle rope. As Mysterio sets up the 619, Rollins rolls out of the ring. Rollins catches Mysterio on the on the apron. Mysterio turns it into a tornado DT on the apron. Mysterio sends Rollins into the barricade. Murphy watches watches as Mysterio continues his assault. Um, Rollins sends Mysterio into the ring steps. Rollins picks up picks up Mysterio in the in the electric chair position. Mysterio reverses reverses it into a sunset bomb into the barricade. Mysterio tries a sliding DDT, but Rollins counter into a Falcon Arrow on the announcer desk. Rollins whips Mysterio into the barricade. Rollins gets a two count. Rollins works over Mysterio in the ring. Mysterio fires up and lands a Santon followed by a spinning head scissors. Mysterio gets a two count. 
after a bulldog, Mysterio is dumped out of the ring and land at the feet of his entire family. Rollins hits Mysterio in the head with the ring steps. Rollins tries to stomp Mysterio into the steel ring steps. Mysterio moves and slams Rollins' head on the steps. Mysterio slides under the bottom rope and, and this and this a splash on Rollins on the ring steps. Alright. So we get after the break, Rollins being brings a table into the ring. Rollins tries tries the three amigos, but Mysterio escapes the last suplex. Which will have been through a table. Mysterio slides under the under the table. Rollins pushed the edge of table into Mysterio's gut. Rollins goes goes up top only to get to get cut off by Mysterio. Mysterio lands a few strikes. Mysterio tries the top top rope her Karana. Rollins puts on the brakes and power bumps Mysterio through the table. Mysterio somehow kick out. Mysterio's family cheer him on. Mysterio is clutching his Clutching at his injured back, Rollins grabs a chair and puts the protective stopper off of one of the legs of the chair. Rollins tries to go on, gone out Mysterio's eye again. Dominic, Dominic pulls um, Rollins out of the ring. Rollins super kicks Dominic. Mysterio drop kicks the chair into Rollins' face. Murphy rolls into the ring and gives Rollins the chair. Murphy picks up Mysterio. Aaliyah is very is upset out, outside the ring before Rollins can do anything. Murphy abbreviates him with a leaping knee strike. Rollins falls, in, falls, falls into the ropes. Mysterio tries the, the sixth one out, but he slips and falls to the outside. Mysterio kicks kicks Rollins in the back and hits the six one nine proper. Mysterio goes up top, does the Eddie Guerrero, Eddie Guerrero's um, sh shimmy, and hits a fall splash for the win. The winner of the the winner of the match, Rey Mysterio. This match itself was fantastic. After the match, Mysterio celebrates with his family as Murphy watches from the apron. Mysterio tells Murphy to get in the ring. Mysterio says that that if if Murphy was looking for looking for his approval. He, here it is. Mysterio shakes Murphy's hand. Aaliyah rushes in and hugs Murphy. Hugs Murphy. Mysterio's wife does the same. Dominic and Murphy lock look lock eyes. Dominic gives Murphy a pound. Okay, do, backstage. Adam Pierce tells Natalia that she put her in a triple threat triple threat tonight to win a spot on on the Survivor Series team. Natalia pouts. Natalia pouts and. Jumps up and down. She doesn't understand why Pierce doesn't just name her on the team. Pierce tells Natalia that the match is next. Natalia storms off. A woman's hand touch Pierce's arm. Um, the camera pans and it and it's Chelsea Green. But but TM, but correct me if I'm wrong. Um, yeah, TM, correct me if I'm wrong. Was Chelsea Green was part of Retribution? Was was Chelsea Green part of Retribution because Retribution debut on SmackDown? And we saw Chelsea Green was part of Retribution, but now she's on SmackDown. But um, anyway, that just caught me off guard. But anyway, backstage, Seth Rollins finds Pierce, finds Pierce, and demands that he is given the chance to destroy Murphy. But anyway, but we saw Chelsea Green on Raw and, and on NXT. You know, it is what it is. Whatever. So we get SmackDown Survivor Series Women's Tag. Women, not, I'm sorry, SmackDown Women's SmackDown Survivor Series Women's Team Qualifying True Threat Match. Natalia versus Liv Morgan versus Tamina versus Chelsea Green. Um, this was this match was decent. Um, I'm very proud that Liv Morgan won this match. I'm very proud of her. So it is what it is from there. So so we're just gonna get right to it. Alright, before the match starts, the announcer says this is now a fatal four way. So it went from a true threat match to a fatal four-way match real quick. Zero to one hundred. Alright. Green Chelsea Green goes after Tamina but is quickly knocked on knock knocked on her on her butt. Morgan lands a knee a knee DT on Tamina. Tamina falls out of the ring. Green and Natalia sends Tamina into the barricade. Green attacks Natalia from behind as Green gets on the apron. Morgan knocks her off. Morgan ducks a dis it did a discuss clothesline from Natalia. Morgan hits line, laying, laying the smackdown. 
um, Natalia kicks out. Morgan blasts Natalia with the code breaker for a long two count. Um, Tamina gets in the ring and eats a, eats a code breaker as well. Morgan pins Tamina, the winner of the match, Liv Morgan. So I'm so I'm so proud that Liv Morgan is on Team SmackDown. That's all I gotta say. And um, backstage, the Street Profits tells Big E they 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 made him a gift to pick up for last week. They they have a they have they have a spread of food that is in three plates. Um, Big E no, noticed that it's shaped like an L. Dawkins tells Big E that New Day serves pancakes, but they are going to be serving L's at Survivor Series. Big E calls for and Dawkins the great vow New Day. Big E laughs for and Dawkins laugh as Big E walks away for and Dawkins turn dead serious. All right, let's move on. So we get the the ascension ascension match. Drew McIntyre versus Jay Uso. This this main event match was decent. This was a decent main event match. So we get um, McIntyre floors Uso with a shoulder block. Uso gets tossed into the corner by McIntyre. McIntyre work over Uso in the corner. McIntyre rips off rips off Uso's sh shirt and lands a chop. McIntyre, McIntyre deadlifts suplex Uso off the mat, off the mat. McIntyre smile as he covers Uso. McIntyre only gets a near fall. McIntyre catches Uso with a back elbow that sends Uso careering down down, down to the mat. McIntyre lands a, a series of strikes. Uso lands a jawbreaker. Uso try a leaping a leaping fro leapfrog, but McIntyre kicks him in the face as he is in the in the um in the air. Um, Uso sends McIntyre to the outside area. Uso, Uso tries a dive, but McIntyre cuts him off with a stiff right hand. As McIntyre is getting back in the ring, Uso kicks kicks the middle rope into McIntyre's. You know what? Um, you um, Uso super kicks McIntyre, causing McIntyre to fall off the apron. After the break, U after the break, Uso and McIntyre trade strikes. McIntyre hits the ropes and and runs into the Samoan drop by Uso. McIntyre kicks out. McIntyre crawls into the corner, but but Uso puts the boots to McIntyre. Uso calls for a running hip attack. McIntyre gets to his feet and clothesline Uso. McIntyre lands two overhead throws. McIntyre kicks up to his feet. Um, Uso counter with counters counters the future shock DDT. Uso reverses it into a pin. McIntyre kicks out. McIntyre lands the Glasgow kiss. Sky high by McIntyre. Uso kicks out again. Uso super kicks McIntyre. Uso goes up top. McIntyre cuts Uso off. Uso knocks the McIntyre into into a tree of wool. Before Uso can take advantage, McIntyre sits up, sits up and suplexes Uso, Uso all, off the top. McIntyre calls for the Claymore. Uso rolls out of the ring. McIntyre sends Uso to the ring apron. Reigns and Heyman walk down to the ring. Uso push, pushes McIntyre into the ring post. Uso sends McIntyre into the ring steps. Uso tells Reigns he's going to beat McIntyre. Reigns tells Uso that he doesn't care if he wins. Just make him understand. Uso rolls into the ring and unloads on McIntyre with rights and lefts. Uso goes up top, goes up and walks into a claymore by McIntyre. McIntyre pins Uso. The winner of the match, Drew McIntyre. The main event itself, the main event match itself was decent. After the match, McIntyre stares at Reigns. McIntyre leaves the ring and gets in Reigns face. In Roman Reigns face, McIntyre asks Reigns if he if he understands him now. Reigns nods and tells McIntyre to handle this, to handle his business, and he'll see him as at the pay per view. And SmackDown goes off there. But like I said before. The first hour of SmackDown was good, but the rest of, but the rest of the show was decent. But anyway, if you guys enjoy my WWE SmackDown review and highlights, drop a like on this video. Subscribe to my channel. I'll leave my Twitter, my Instagram, and TikTok down below in the description. You guys have a great weekend and stay safe. Big Boy Giant 25, and I'll and I'm out of here. And I'll see you guys later on WWE Raw review and highlights. I'll talk to you guys later, and I'm out of here.